Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Friday. I got some pickups. There's a lot of news. Let's talk about it. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collecting. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Friday, so I just turn on the camera, I sit in front of it, gather up some stuff I've bought from the last week or two, and I just chat to you guys about it a little bit. There's a little bit of news to talk about today in the world of Mythic Legions, so we'll kind of cover that as well. Hope you guys have had a good week. I hope you're getting ready to have a good weekend. It's been a busy week at my house. It's going to be a busy weekend at my house. We have other family coming in to uh, hang out this weekend, so it's going to be a pretty busy weekend, but I've got a fair amount of pickups, so let's start there. I know I'm a little late to the game on this one, but I really just kind of fell in love with it over the last few uh, like weeks and months, and you know I've been checking them out and watching reviews, so I decided to go ahead and pick up the Frazetta Girls Fire and Ice Dark Wolf figure, and uh, man, I'm really glad that I did. I see that it literally just came in stock on Big Bad Toy Store, so I know a lot of people are starting to get theirs. Um, there's been tons of reviews, so I'm super super like really into it like right now i really want to get this guy opened up and check him out you guys saw my captain america infinity war no captain america winter soldier review uh, a couple of weeks ago and then this guy came in stock to go along with him it's the uh, mafex uh, winter soldier from captain america the winter soldier i've got some weapons coming for him from gridiron studios so as soon as they arrive i'll probably do a review um, just because I want to show him off with some guns because he doesn't come with any guns. I'm not sure why. I consider myself super, super lucky to have this next figure. Um, I know it kind of came and went about maybe a year ago or maybe it came out this year. I'm not sure because I wasn't paying much attention to it because I wasn't buying a lot of Mafex at the time. But uh, I have a really good friend here in town. You guys know I've talked about him before, my friend Scott, about having to pay the Scott tax. But... Um, <clears throat> Basically, he was like, hey, I think they're getting ready to reissue this figure, so stay on it. And uh, he sent me a bunch of links, and I finally got a chance to get the Mafex Symbiote Suit Spider-Man. absolutely love the black and white suits. My favorite suit for Spider-Man. And uh, he's going to go great with my classic Venom that I have from Mafex. So I'll probably review both of those figures at the same time. Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure how that's going to work. Uh, let's see here. We've got a few more figures to go through for the pickups. Um, I did get this. I absolutely love it. This is the Machine Build 02, also known as Not Psych Hill. Um, I love the 80s. You guys know anything 80s related, I'm all about. This just looks really awesome. Uh, he does turn into his little robot mode. Now, I don't know how big this guy is. I don't know if he's all metal or plastic or whatever, because I haven't actually opened this up and checked it out yet, but we're going to be doing a review on that guy very soon. Now, these next three pickups are going to seem a little strange, but again, anything from my childhood anything from my childhood growing up in the 80s i love i did come across these figures several times in target um over the last i don't know probably three or four or five months and i skipped on them i didn't pick them up and i have been kicking myself ever since because they're kind of going up in price on the secondary market and they're kind of popping in and out of stock on um on um, Super 7's website, but I did recently come across on um, the first wave of Super 7 Sesame Street, so I got Bert and Ernie, and the, I, I, who I love, by the way, but I really wanted to get these guys, the Yip Yip, uh, Yip 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 Yip, yip uh-huh, 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 had to get those guys. Now, I just need uh, the count uh, right here. I need, to, I need to pick up the count, uh, but I'm going to be doing that soon. Super 7's second wave of those just uh, went up for pre-order, um, and I'm only going to be getting two, Cookie Monster and um, Oscar the Grouch. And then a good friend of mine here in town, Carlin, uh, I forgot so long ago, I think it was maybe about a year ago, he pre-ordered the whole line of long box heroes figures, and he was like, hey, there's a figure in there I don't really care for, do you want to go in on it with me? And I said, yeah. And, uh, and that was the goon. So I got this from my good friend Carlin here in town. Thank you, buddy, for uh, letting me get this. This is awesome. He looks incredible. And uh, man, they've got a lot. They got a lot going on. Uh, I don't own any long box heroes. So I'm really happy uh, to have that uh, in my collection. So I appreciate you, Carlin. Thank you so much. Um, now we're going to talk about a little bit of 
uh, news. So this week, uh, I mean, this is a big year for me, uh, for not only Four Horsemen Studios, but also Mythic Legions. It's their 10th anniversary of a toy line. And I think it's their 20th or 25th anniversary as a company. Uh, as a solo company so um they're doing they're pulling out all the stops they're doing so much this year so many releases and uh it's just going to be ramping up from here on out because there's so many conventions that are going to be showing up there's another wave coming out at ishcon they're going to reveal we've got some exclusive figures coming up uh, and then that's going to lead us right into november when we go to legions con in new jersey so let's go ahead and start with the big news that they did and that was the figura obscura two pack so this is the first time well that we're getting two figures so we have had a two pack before we had the headless horseman so if you count the headless horseman and you count the horse then that is two releases but i consider this a true two pack you're getting two full figures and most of these figures if if not all of them are all completely brand new sculpts 100 percent which is insane and this is great for them uh and their figures moving forward but you can see we are, we're gonna get anubis and bastet and they come with so much stuff they almost come with enough stuff to fill up your own 112th scale uh miniature museum this thing is absolutely gorgeous uh, i did snap uh one of these sets up uh it was 120 plus shipping and uh, so, yeah, I, uh, I have one coming and it should be here next week. I don't think it's going to get here in time for next Monday um, for our Mythic Monday, but that's OK. We'll just hold it off until the next week. Uh, but this set is packed to the gills with all of the look at all the stuff that it comes with it's absolutely insane all these different heads all these different hands all the accessories all the little artifacts that they would have been uh, buried with i cannot wait i've already seen some amazing customs and i can't wait to see what i can do with these figures once i get them in hand and um today it is friday right now i'm recording uh, early in the morning but they will be going up again today at 11 a.m if you uh, missed out on them last week but also don't worry because they will also be showing up at cons and at legions con this year so if you get out and be able to uh, hit up a con that uh, four horsemen attend i'm sure you'll be able to get one there and then the next thing they dropped on us was the next wave reveal and it is next friday one week from the day and it says Ophidian has fallen all that remains is ash and the stories of those who fought mythic legions Mythic Legion's Ash of Agendor, Ab, Agbendor, live wave reveal special, Friday, May 31st at 7 p.m. on uh, Four Horsemen's um, YouTube channel. So we're going to get a full wave reveal. I, we don't know if this is going to be a, a large wave, if it's going to be a small wave. A lot of people are, are just like chomping at the bit that this is going to be the moment where they give us a large 112th scale dragon who knows they may i mean it is a big year for them so i mean they're they're probably going to go big um but uh yeah so that's going to be really exciting i think we'll probably do some sort of you know um recap of you know giving our thoughts i'll probably have my buddy greg on and we'll chat about it sometime next week uh after after this has been revealed um but that's really it for um for the figures that I've picked up this week and for for the news that I have, I just wanted to sit and chat with you guys a little bit. I'm gonna keep it short today because that last video I posted yesterday was super, super long, 30 minutes. I don't like doing videos that long. I like to try to keep them 10 to 12. But, you know, I was reviewing two figures and two accessory packs. It just took a long time to go through all of it in an in-depth manner and 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 to cover it the way that I felt like it needed to be covered. So uh, I apologize for the long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching. I super appreciate it. Please continue to check us out at Instagram at Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I am your Saturday Morning Toy Collector. I'm your host, Mark, and I will see you guys in the toy aisles. <laughs>